Hi guys, Froggy here. Today, what I'm going to try and do is develop a procedure to service poly bushings. The poly bushings, in my opinion, need to be greased at least once a year. Um, some guys drill holes and put Zerk fittings in there and uh, grease them on the car. I don't like the idea of, of drilling holes in these control arms. Uh, I think it, it weakens them. Uh, there can be some debate on that. Uh, so you decide for yourself. But um, the ones I've got and the grease I use, I think they stay pretty well greased for a whole year. But I'm going to, uh, it's been probably a year and a half actually. I'm going to try and uh, do this an easy way. What I'm going to do, I've got the car up and I'm going to put a bottle jack, a bottle jack underneath the spring. What that's going to do is take the down tension off the corner, the whole corner. Bottle jack underneath the spring. Then the only thing I have pushing down on this control arm here, this upper control arm, is the shock. Uh, so I may, uh, I may use two jacks. I may use one under the spring. I may just go under the whole go under the whole corner like right right here basically right under there um, I don't know how it's going to turn out but I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to record it and I'm going to show you guys what I end up doing I took the nuts off the studs that hold the upper control arm uh, I realized that has to be compressed to get there's a snap ring right right there on that end there's a snap ring so I'm going to have to take this to the bench so I'm going to take this upper ball joint off and to get at it I'm going to turn the wheels to the left that should give me a lot of access on this side maybe take off this wheel speed sensor too um, now you guys that have stock cars you're going to have a um, a bolt that goes into the frame right there instead of a stud you can have a bolt um, I like this system better but you'll have to deal with the bolts if that's what you have I took the uh, the arm off of the frame and swung it around to the front here and I've got a little two arm puller that I'm going to use to pull the upper ball joint apart I tried banging on it and it wouldn't let go and I don't like to bang on these control arms that much because they're aluminum alloy, they're not steel. If it was a truck I'd just bang the heck out of it and get it off but uh, not on this one. I'll use this puller. I think this will work. Wow! Well I finally got it off using this two arm puller. I tell you, you, you can't use a pickle fork because you tear up the you you tear up this boot right here most of the time when you're trying to use a, a standard pickle fork to separate the ball joint. I, I almost really would suggest you get one of those special Kent Moore tools that is used to separate these ball joints, uh, GM or Corvette ball joints. Anyway, that's up to you, but that was a lot of work to get that uh, upper control arm off. But it's off. Now to the bench. I put the arm in the vise, put a little padding on there, and I'm using a, a two-arm puller. What I have to do is compress the bushing material a little bit to get this snap ring out. There's a snap ring right there. It, it's hard to see. Let me clean it up a little bit. Yeah, right there. If you, it was a clock, it would be about 10 o'clock. I think you can see the snap ring. So you got to position the puller so that you're going to have clearance to get your snap ring pliers in there, right? This is uh, a, 
a FOT poly bushing kit I installed about a year and a half ago taken apart to grease it inspect it it does look it, like it has grease um, it just seems to me like it's it's too tight uh, too tight for the suspension to to work as well as it could um, but I don't know where do you draw the line between tight and loose I don't know <sighs> Yeah, you can you can see it's shiny. It's not dry. The grease was retained. I wasn't having a lot of noise uh, from the poly bushings. Uh, they just seem a little on the tight side. That's all. Maybe you know. Maybe they sh they're supposed to be. I don't know. This has the grooves cut in it to capture the grease. I think it worked pretty well. I I can't see. You know the guys that put Zerks in there and re-grease it. I mean, you know, extra grease doesn't do you any good. You just need enough to cover the part that has to have the motion in it, and the extra just gets pushed out. So there's one side. This is uh, driver's side upper. Uh, I don't know if this is leading or trailing. Uh, I don't think it matters. Uh, so let's see what the other side looks like. Okay, this is me uh, twisting. Uh, see, see how much pressure I've got on there. I'm going to remove this pin from the poly bushing. To me, it's it's too much. Uh, it's too stiff. I think. I don't think the new grease is going to make any difference. I think I'm going to find the same thing on this side. There's not going to be any wear. It's a tight fit. Um, could have been a little looser fit, I guess. Anyway, I need, I need two hands to get it out. All right, I want to show you the other pin. It's got grease all the way around it. And... There's no wear on these poly bushings. Toll free at 855-DO-STUDIES. That's 855-DO-STUDIES. That's 855-267-8834. So, yeah, there's a trace of grease inside all the way around. There's no wear on the outside. So, it's... Uh, yeah, let's see if I can show you in here. It's a good kit. What can I say? Uh, it's a good kit. It should have been a little bit looser tolerance, but and I don't know how I could hand fit it. Uh, I guess I could turn the pin down if I had a lathe, which I don't have a lathe. And if I did that, then I'd have to fiddle around with the uh, snap ring again. Uh, the original snap rings didn't work very well. The replacement snap, snap rings, uh, they work fine. It's just a normal snap ring. So I'm going to just grease it up and put it back together. And... Uh, that's about it. I'll uh, show you a little bit on the lowers too when I get to the lowers. Okay? When you put them back in, just splash a little uh, rubbing alcohol on there to make them slide in real nice. This grease is very sticky grease. The stickiest grease I've ever had. Try to just use one figure to get in there. Maybe use your little finger to get the grease in there because it's a son of a gun to get it off your hands. It's just very, very sticky stuff. Okay, I got the driver's side back on and I'm going to go do the passenger side upper 
instead of doing the lower because the lower is a different bunch of you know sizes of the tools and laying underneath and I'll have to jack the car up maybe a little bit higher so I'm gonna leave that for another day I'm just gonna go on the other side and do the upper um, I did just get off the phone with uh, FOT technical support and I talked to them about my concern about how tight the poly bushings are when I try to turn them by hand and he said that's how they're supposed to be and he said it's really trivial trivial the amount of torque that you can put on with your hands compared to what you can put on uh, you know what the suspension actually undergoes when it's driving on a racetrack so uh, that's that's good enough for me they're the, they're the experts and I've never been steered wrong by FOT so uh, I'm just greasing them up putting them back in and uh, Go for another year, okay? Froggy out.